Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a steering wheel in um, American Truck Simulator. Um, what I'm about to show you will also work in European Truck Simulator. So, um, first you'll set up your wheel, get it plugged, get the USB plugged in, plug it into the wall, get everything set up the way you like it, um, and then you'll start the game. You'll click on Options. You'll go to controls. Now, if you have a new, if you're setting up a new profile, um, it will bring you to this page automatically. But if not, if you're using an existing profile, you'll click on input wizard, click on controllers. If your wheel has a, uh, has a shifter with it, you'll click on eight shifter. If not, you can click on sequential and you'll use, you'll use paddle shift. Click on H shifter. Um, I use range uh, because the splitter and the range splitter are rather confusing, but if you want to use them, go for it. Click on either one and then click on finish wizard. I'm not going to click on that right now because it'll ruin all my settings, but you'll click finish wizard and then you'll be done part one. Now, what you'll do next is you'll go to keys and buttons and then now that, now that the wheel is all set up with the game, you can go through and, um, and map the controls to, to the buttons on your wheel and your, H, and your shifter if you have it. Um, and there's lots of different options and people do a whole bunch of different things. Um, it'll set up some, some kind of initial things for you. So it'll put the indicators in a mostly logical spot as well as like hazard lights and some other and some other stuff but um but for the most part you can just go through and put the important stuff like the engine the parking brake stuff like that um now once you've got all that done um you can american truck simulator and european truck simulator have some great tools for um for making the wheel behave more realistically um and those are all found in, in controls in the first half of the control section. Um, and they're all, and they start at force. So you want to turn force feedback on if it's not on already. And then it's just these controls right here from force feedback to force feedback collisions. Um, the way I have it set up is what I find to be, to be the most realistic. Um, obviously every wheel is different. I'm using a uh, Logitech G27. Obviously every wheel is different. So, um, you know, this is a good place to start and then you can tweak it, um, however you, however you see fit. Um, you can change all the settings that you change when you set the wheel up can also be changed here, as you can see. Now, another cool thing is down here in shifter layout, um, you can map different shifter positions. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can, if you want to, um, but right here, you can, it actually has preloaded, the game has preloaded in a bunch of realistic um, shifter positions um, for American Truck Simulator, seeing as the, the common one for the game is Eaton Fuller, uh, uses Eaton Fuller, but European Truck Simulator has Volvo transmissions and um, Scania transmissions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but depending on what transmission you, you end up putting in, you, you end up putting in your truck, um, you can probably find it here and um, that just adds to the realism, right? Um, the Mac R that I'm using, you can see in the background there is a, um, um, oh, it has a 12 speed in it, but there's no, there's no option for a 12 speed. So I just keep it on range for now. But um, um, another thing, if you're using an H shifter uh, with a clutch, with a clutch pedal, um, you'll, for the fast split, so that's shifting between high, low, um, on individual gears, if if it's uh, if you if you have it in that in that you know accessible in that gearbox, um, you'll want to set shifter fast split to throttle release, either throttle release or um, clutch press. Actually, it should be clutch press for for realism's sake. It should be clutch press. So that way, when you when you hit the clutch and um, activate your fast split, um, it'll happen as soon as you press the clutch. And there you go. Um, so I hope that's clear as mud. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, 
or send me a message. And uh, and yeah, that's that's how we do that. So uh, if you're just getting a new wheel, I hope you enjoy it. And if you're looking for uh, for some more realism in your game, I hope you enjoy the game again. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.